Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Thursday, April 28th, 2022. And the Father's Word says, Put your body in subjection. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27 reads, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. As a child of God, one thing you have to consciously do is to put your body in subjection to the Word. There are Christians who cannot undergo such a spiritual exercise as fasting. They just cannot fast for a reasonable period of time. Why? They are too lazy. Once it is time to fast, their bodies will not let them. They start struggling. That is when they suddenly remember the cake that has been in their fridge for weeks. A vicarious appetite for food suddenly wells up in them and sustaining the fast becomes a struggle. But the truth is, any time such things like this happen, your heart will always talk to you. It is just whether or not you will listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit in you. The Apostle Paul in our opening verse said, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. Every time there is an opportunity for a spiritual exercise, take advantage of it. For example, when it is time to pray, pray. Refuse to feel tired or sleepy. Put away everything that is likely to distract you and discipline yourself to observe your prayer times. By so doing, you are training yourself or the spirit to dominate your body. The outward man, that is your body, has its senses, and the spirit, that is the real you, has its senses as well. So, whichever one you train is what will determine the quality of your life. Those who live according to their natural senses are terribly limited. They are the ones that experience failures and defeat in life. But those who are led by the spirit, those who have trained themselves or their spirit, have the mastery. Make up your mind to let the spirit gain the dominion over your body. Live beyond this earthly realm. Please let's take the declaration together. I belong to Christ and I have crucified the flesh with its desires. I reckon myself to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ. I walk by the Spirit always and manifest fruits of righteousness. My spirit is alive unto God. Hallelujah. Today's reflection instructs you to list the five things you are going to do in response to putting your body under subjection to the word today. Read Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18, and 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. But Herald of Glory, every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Gloryfield Chrysler, Herald in the Glorious Church.